What's up everybody, Travis here. I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to use Elementor with Genesis Child Themes and specifically on the front page, okay? So I'm brand new to page builders, okay? I haven't used them before. Decided to check out Elementor today. It's free, it's a plugin. So I installed it on my site, decided I'd try to recreate my homepage. So I went to my homepage, I went up here to edit with Elementor, I clicked it, and boom, I got an error message saying, sorry, the content area was not found in your page. You must call the content function in the current template in order for Elementor to work on this page. So the question is, what is my current template? That's the first question. So let me go back. I see up here that my current template is frontpage.php. If you're unsure what your template is, you can check out the plugin called Show Current Template that will actually show you your page's template up here in the top. So, mine is frontpage.php. So, let's go over here to our dashboard and go to our editor so that we can see what's going on. So, if I go over here to the static front page, which is frontpage.php, click on that, I'll see here right at the top a function called Executive Home Genesis Meta. Okay, basically this function is saying if I have an active widget named Home Slider or an active widget called Home Top or Home Top 2 or Home Top 3 or any of these, if any of these widgets are active or are being used, then our Genesis loop is going to be removed from the page and our home sections, which is, are these widgets here, are going to be added in place of the loop, okay? Now it's the Genesis loop that has the content function that calls the content. So this is our problem, okay? We cannot edit the page because our loop is being taken out and replaced by these widgets. So we have one of two, op we have one of two options. The first option is we could go to the home page and just remove, take out all of our widgets one by one. The problem is in a couple of days, if you decide you don't like this and you want to revert back, your widgets are gone. You would have to um, manually put them all back, repopulate all the data over again. And I just don't want to do that. Option two is much better. And that's just disabling this function from happening just disabling the widgets, basically. So the easiest way to do that is to go up here where this function is being hooked into the page. That's right here. We see we have an add action where this function is being hooked in, okay? So the best and easiest thing to do is just to comment out this hook. So just comment that out and that's going to make it so this function doesn't even run. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to update file. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go back to my home page, and there it is. All of my widgets are gone. My home page is clean and ready for a page builder. So let's go up here and see if this works. So edit with Elementor, and boom, there it is. Now I'm ready to build my page. And if I decide uh, a couple days later, I don't like this, I want to go back to what I had, I can just go and uncomment that hook in frontpage.php. Hope that helps. If you have a better way to do it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, and thanks a bunch for watching.